and welcome to a new episode of Joining the Rush on the KHL's official YouTube channel. My name is Steve Dangle Glenn and this is Andrea Sachenka. Which one do you want to talk about? I don't know. What's new? Hockey. That's not new. Mm, you're right. It was invented in the 1800s. Huh, in Montreal, huh? No. I got a topic. Have you heard that Jay Fuse, the general manager of the Calgary Flames, got killed on the trade again? He traded away Jay Bowmister. That's also not new. No, it's not. I think he's applying that uh, Russian thing he taught me. What? That was, uh, uh, Fsil the Vipanovi. It might be. Yep. There's lots of trades and stuff we can talk about. Yep. Why are we eating sausages? I skipped lunch. Oh. And I'm from Moscow. <laughs> He hasn't been to bed for over 24 hours. Yeah. No? Yeah. No, 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 no. At this point, why not? He was too strict. It's a nice shirt. It is a nice shirt. So the KHL play, you're going to have another one? I'm going to have four. All right. Did you have to realize it's part of my tradition, okay? In Russia, in February, you eat pancakes. And late March, early April, give or take a few weeks, we as a nation consume sausages. You need to stop shaking your meat at me. How old is this tradition? I'd say about five years old. Hmm. How old are those sausages? No, man, it's all Chinese. Congratulations, you have just discovered a very rare episode of the show called Joan in the Rush. Why is it rare? Because this is the only time I'm wearing this t-shirt, I can't watch it. Oh, that, oh, that explains so much. It's from Ilya Prasgalov's goalie school. And it says to Andre from Mr. Universe. Ilya Prasgalov's goalie school? Yeah, that exists. Is that part of the Russian space program? Okay, let's go www.nasa.ru Sounds legit. Ah! Bruce Gallup is meeting you on the flash screen. Hmm. Hmm? We should probably start talking about things. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get to the meat of the episode! <laughs> what you laughing about? This joke doesn't translate to Russian. It's for me, though. And now for something completely different. No matter what country you're from, you gotta dig the s*** out of it. SKA St. Petersburg's theme of the season was Star Wars. Because they have all these stars on their team, so it's perfectly logical. Here's a quick video of their pre-game shows. Now, Game 6 of the Western Conference Final, SKA is meeting Dino Moscow in Moscow and facing elimination. That's cold, man. That's cold. Just over a minute left in regulation. Dynamo is up 5-1. SKA is down a man. It's over. And if you were one of the lucky dudes at the ring this day, and you would look at the Jumbotron, this is what you see. Russian hockey fans came up with the chant Sasiska, which means sausage in Russian. Why? Because it also means suck it, SKA. Oh. So at games 3 and 4, which we have in Moscow, Dynamo fans bought a bunch of hot dogs. Oh, and I'm sure they, they ate them up and enjoyed them and, and they had a great time. Well, they sure kept the buns. Oh, no. In fact, they threw so many sausages on the ice of these games that for game 6, hot dogs were banned from the building. That is such just a weird Russian thing to do. You would never see that here in North America. Oh, really? What is this? Mm. Brought back on, but not yet controlled by Shepard. Over to Strzok, and it's Shepard and Strzok! This is the Avalanche's first look at the rack. My goodness! Well, they're together in this game to help the power play. They're even playing together at even strength. And we're talking about Lowry. We're talking about Strong. Man, there's rats. <laughs> there's rats. I'm telling you, it's serious. <laughs> they added more staff for this game tonight. 25 people are out there gathering them in. Here's the tiebreaker. Was that the eight arms of the octopus symbolized the number of playoff victories it took to win the cup in that era. They thought tossing an octopus would bring good luck. So on a hmm? You were saying? Never mind. Okay. Yeah. 
You know what is weird though? I eat them raw. You asked me to pre-cook it for you. Yeah, it was hot and tasty. Oh, shut up. You must be one of those rich douchebags who eat their ice cream cold. Yes? I hate you. Seriously though, I was in a little demanding conversation discussing that, you know, this sort of thing ex exists in North America, but people throw things on ice over here in support of their team, not going against the other. Well, well except for the waffles. Waffles. Yeah. The Leafs are last in the Northeast Division, 28th overall in the NHL. It's been five seasons since they've made the playoffs, and the frustration is kicking in, Nick, but waffles, <laughs> waffles are being thrown on the ice. Yeah, 12 years in professional hockey, I've yet to see uh, the waffle. Uh, but i got to believe that the players went to bed embarrassed, they woke up embarrassed, uh, and the talk continues. Hockey Central at noon, we talked about it. I, I don't know how you react to it. Uh, it is an My favorite line from this incident was Luke Shen, who was like, we don't even sell waffles! Yeah, but you do sell overpriced tickets at the games we suck. No. In any case, I think the whole sausage idea is kind of funny and it brings the best from hockey to us. Rivalry! One of the most exciting series all time in the KHL has been this year's Salavat Your Life against Akbar series. Why? Because they hate each other! I mean, watch this video, isn't it funny? <laughs> That's hilarious. I used to listen to this song when I was like 12. That's disturbing. You know what they should throw on the ice for game 7 between Tractor and Akbars? Polar Bears. Live ones. Tractor won game 6 3 2 pushing the series to Game 7 in Kazan. <gasps> and I know that when Akbars was up 3-1, Akbars fans must have been like... Finish him! Flawless victory. Fatality. But then they were like... Game six, they were like, no! well, That's actually for SKA. Oh, so rookie season in the KHL. My, my bad. Okay. And this is it for this episode of Joining the Rush. Once again, my name is Andrea Sashenko, and this is Sausage. We can ask don't forget to watch the bloopers. And after the bloopers, there's going to be a special video which was sent to us by our own fans. Hockey buddy. Yeah. Why are we showing this again? Because he skates better than us. I can skate better than you. That's debatable. Oh, I got a topic. Have you heard that Jay Feaster of the Good? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. No matter what country you're from, you're gonna dig this sh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, do. <laughs> no, I'll have to bleep it out of my <laughs> Yeah, how much of a nightmare? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> It's funny though. It's funny as <laughs> if, And if you're one of the lucky dudes at the arena and you take a look at the Jumbo Throne, this is what you Jumbo see. Jumbotron. Jumbotron. Jumbo Throne would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's what you sit in when you win yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Game of Jumbo Thrones. I haven't watched a single episode of that show, but I've only seen the sex scenes. Anyway. <laughs> They say wisdom is the wise word spoken by a brother attempting to open the graves of these mentally dead slaves who've been lost on a cross for decades and centuries looking for the liberty but receive nothing but misery and hard times and things of that nature by the devil with a genocide caper little boy peep has lost his sheep but I found them Of a modern day Flintstone, we the people supposed to be equal. But the men who wrote that, they was evil. Slave owners who did not include us, they just used us and abused us. First they trick you, then mentally 